<laughs> Oops. Ah. Uh, uh, three. So here we are, guys. We're back with part two of the good, the bad, and the ugly concerning the Harley Davidson Bluetooth tuner. So I got a message back from Harley Davidson Corporation. Well, a representative from Harley Davidson Corporation calls back about our complaint about this tuner not being ready for not having the tunes for the stage three of the Street Glide 2023 and the stage one of the 2023 Lowrider ST. So I'm going to play you what the response was first. And Look right up here. I'm going to put the closed caption yeah. for the hearing impaired. There you go. Hi, Sean. This is your Kiva from Ali Davidson Motor Company. I received your email yesterday, and um, I, I, as we spoke of, I think it was May 11th, there is not um, a tune that is available for your wife's bike as of yet until july um but regarding the amounts that you paid for the tunes that the dealership told you um i would encourage you to want to resolve that directly with the dealership okay shame on you why are we going to purchase a 500 hundred dollar tuner and then have to purchase one from the dealership and now it's the dealership's fault that's, that's, that's crap, big corporate. You're completely out of touch with your people. The, this deceptive little booger for $500, uh, plus the $80 cable that we didn't even really need, this even pulls up a 2023 Lowrider ST when you open this up, but deceptively uploads a 2022, which X's out your tra traction control. So this made absolutely no sense. Shame on you, big corporate. Even your representatives that we spoke to have no idea what we're talking about. I mean, I called one time. I was so frustrated trying to explain it to the lady. Then she started talking over me, and I just hung up the phone on her and had enough that he took it over and he had to explain it at least 30 minutes long on, on what the problem was. And I don't think the lady really still understood. No, they, they don't have any working knowledge of None. motorcycles. None. So they could not comprehend what I was trying to explain to them. And so I just laid it all out in, in a line with a trail of candy following it so that they could understand. But uh, they finally understood, figured out what we were just talking about, why it's not our fault that the tune is not available from the Harley Davidson tuner that we purchase. But uh, of you see what the the outcome of it is, is that they want to blame the dealership. It's uh, not the dealership's fault that Harley Davidson Corporation did not release the tunes for the motorcycles. Non-returnable once opened, of course, you know, so between both bikes, that's a thousand dollars and upgrades that we could have done on these bikes. And fortunately for us, every dealership we've encountered, we've, it, you know, the best, I mean, everywhere we've been, we've been 15 states on our bikes, great dealership, great service, you know, everybody's every friendly. Every If it wasn't for the people in the field, corporate would fold under. That's Definitely. all I could say. Corporate needs to get in touch with their people in the field and the customers. They're way, way out of touch with what's going on. And for them to release this and cheat the customer, basically, I'm sure this will be a great product once they get all the kinks out of it. But don't release it if it's not ready. It's okay. We're, we're patient. We can wait. Or let us know which motorcycles it's not ready for. So that we don't go and purchase a $500 tuner and realize it's not ready for a Stage 3 Street Glide or a Stage 1 Lowrider ST. So if you've got the 2023 Lowrider ST or a 2023 Street Glide, then this tune is not ready for your bike. This tuner is not ready for your motorcycle. Um, not until July at least. So July 2023 and this is May. So we still got a couple months before that tuner is ready for this bike and I guess I'll plug it in and see if they've got stage three available or not. See if I can do the advanced tune on it yet. Yeah, but, I can't even use this to hold the door open. It's not even a paperweight. Exactly. It's $500 of uselessness. You can't even drink it. So hopefully that helps you guys out. Now I'm sure that if you bought a Power Commander uh, 6 or the Fuel Pack from Vance and Hines or one of the other tuners on the market, they're probably not going to tell you that the tune is not available for the bike that you have. I'm just guessing. I don't know. I could be wrong. But normally when you purchase a tuner for a motorcycle, it's ready for that motorcycle and ready to go. 
not in this case. So shame on you, Harley. Shame on you for blaming the dealerships when you're the corporation that releases the tunes. It does make sense. So I hope this helps everybody out there make a good this informed decision on whether or not you want to purchase this tuner or not. Um, again, I think it's going to be a good product once they release all the tunes and once you can do what you are supposed to with it. It was straight from the horse's mouth. Exactly. So, well, thank you guys for watching. Um, helps out by hitting that like and subscribe button. And until next time, deuces. Good luck with those tunes and buyer beware.